Hello everybody, this is Wicked Fox, and today we're going to do some trials. I'm going to show you my setup here, likely suspect, dead man's tail, grenade launcher. Um, this gives me the opportunity of close range with my fusion rifle, my long range with my scout, plus can also be used as uh, close as well. Now this uh, scout rifle, I mean, it is phenomenal. I mean, it is great. Get your hands on this, craft it the way you want to craft it. Um, trying to get to a different position here. <clears throat> okay, now they're looking at this other guy. What I do is take a approach to get to the side of him. Now see, I want to be behind this guy. See, with the uh, scout rifle, it can be used close. Um, you want to hip fire that when you are at that close. Uh, this gun right here, I mean, it's just, it's great. I mean, I didn't even have to use my fusion rifle if I didn't want to, but, you know, it's a one-shot, one kill. You should always have something that's a one-shot, a sniper rifle, shotgun, fusion rifle. Use something that can be one-shot, end the battle. Um, these guns are going to be just your, your primary, you know, try to get as much damage out of it. Right there. I mean, look at how much damage. I mean, three taps to the head. I mean, they're done. Smoke this guy. You want to be around your guys. See, I'm I'm not in the way of anyone. And I'm definitely not running into anyone. Uh, I do hate it when teammates are too close. It's almost like they're holding your pocket. Try not to do that so much with your teammates because we do move in and out. Um, makes it hard to push past somebody if they're blocking the way. I got radar here. Fortunately, my fusion didn't hit him on the first shot. Second one cleared him up. Now it's a three on two. Well, now it's gonna be a two on two. Um, you always wanna push. You don't wanna push just because, you know, you go in there with no game plan. Um, pushing is a very, very important thing in this game for trials. It's a three versus three. If you don't push at the right time, you hindered your team, and you most likely will lose. So, I'm sitting here in the back. That's okay. See, my team hasn't moved up yet. So, I can do whatever I choose that I want to do. I have one guy down. I'm pushing forward. i got to get my teammate back up. I'm going to put pressure on this guy. Now, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Now, I feel confident... In my ability to win those. I did. I traded. Um, everybody's going to be different. I feel like I can go one-on-one -on -one with anybody. Um, you won't always win them. But I feel like I can. And in this situation, you started the match. The match only lasts about less than 50 seconds. So do what you want to do is try to get a, a fast kill. So I damage this guy. My teammate is able to eliminate him because I put two shots into him. Now it's an easier kill for him. Now I'm pushing with him. And it's game over. Um, it's just that fast. And I got 2-0. and oh. The My teammate got 2-0. and oh. <laughs> Now, if I wouldn't have done a little bit of damage, it might have turned out differently. You don't want to be sitting there with three on one against you. Now I was able to take that guy. Hide behind cover because you want to play your life. If you go down, you make it that much harder for your team. Now, I tried to never, ever be so far out of range that I can't get the revive. So if you're playing the game and you are way, way far away, I mean... What are you even doing in the game? Because you can't revive. You can't help anybody. Basically, you want to do that one versus three. Now, <laughs> this guy is obviously pissed off. Um, <laughs> you know, you're going to get that. Um, but I'm pushing with this guy. I'm, I'm not making sudden stupid moves. You know, I, I'm watching the radar. I'm not trying to um, run it out there and not have a game plan. Now, I'm capturing the flag here. 
It's up to them to push me. I don't have to push them. This guy's going to come in a straight line. He's kind of out of the range, especially with the nerfs of shotguns. Um, I hate... I don't know. I, I just dislike playing against shotguns um, because all they do is run in a straight line, shoot you, and then they think they're badass. But enough with uh, what I feel about shotguns. Now the experience is we're going to try to take one of these guys out as fast as we possibly can. Now there's one down. Pressure's on them. My teammate is moving. I got to revive one. Now it's good that my teammate saw that I had backed away. You could go either way on, on something like that. I could have pushed with them and we both would have died. Would have been on two on two. Or I could have went for the the three on two to make it even a better odds. And he could have ran out there thinking that, oh, he's following me. And then I just left him abandoned. And then it would have been a two on two again. But I mean, in worst case, it would have been a two on two. Um, I just always try to pick up a man if one's down. That's just me. Uh, everybody does it differently. Now the scout rifle is just so mean. It's so accurate. You make it to where you can drop somebody really fast. There's two people down right there. Got some team shots in here. Makes it so much easier if you're team shotting. They made Destiny differently than what it used to be. I mean, now it's it's all about team shots. Because, I mean, you can come around a corner and they team shot you, and it's over in a blink of an eye. Um, I mean, it just happens that quick. I mean, it only takes like three bullets pretty much to take you down, and you got three guns facing you. Now, I see this guy. I'm trying to take an angle. He always sees pretty good at radar. He uh, He's kind of doing the same thing. You know, he probably has a shotgun. He wants to shotgun me. I don't want to put myself in any harm. I'm going to hit fire this guy. Now the pressure's on them. I wounded him so that it made it a lot easier for my teammate to take him out. He didn't have to go through all that shield. So I would have cleaned him up if, if my teammate would have went down. But at least I was there. You know, the other guy on my team... Half the time, I don't even know where he is. It makes it really tough to win a game. Now, this one, I'm trying to be more aggressive. Because I kind of see on how teams are playing this week. And they seem to follow a standard. If they see it, it's like monkey see, monkey do. Everybody starts copying and doing the same exact thing. And you see it over and over again. Now, this guy is wounded. Nowhere really to go. It's unfortunate. He's probably going to... Yeah, he's going to lose. Uh, the hard thing is his team went down. Um, he wasn't tremendously far away. It just... You know... It happens where your teammate goes down and then another teammate... As long as you have one person on your team, it's way better. Unless you got something for close range. I mean, you're just going to get... You know swamped and jumped now i see i got this guy this guy's using a shotgun i'm using a fusion rifle um it was probably a little bit too close but i felt comfortable in it i'm trying to hip fire this guy take him down it's game got me a 2-0 Now, a lot of my teams, when I'm playing, they're not the best. Wow, that was amazing. I threw a random grenade trying to hit about here. Didn't think I was going to do anything special and end up taking this guy out. I mean, I, I mean, that's just a great feeling. You know, you're not going to nail this all the time, but that was fun. Just a, a lucky throw of a grenade. And I like to use those trip, those kind of like trip mines or in that sense because they stick to the wall. 
A lot of times they hit them from the back. You can't see behind you. And the way this game is, I mean, you only see in front of you and uh, and your radar. And if for any reason you're scoped in, you can't see anything behind you. So I try to take advantage of those situations. The hip fire on this is just so great. I mean, I feel like I'm a cowboy in the Western movies. Uh, one of the reasons that I've been really using this, I, I never used this gun. Um, I've had it forever, and it just sat in the vault. And...